Hey everyone, what's up? It's Babylonius from PicaSerenity.com here with another commentary video. Uh, this time it's Myth Mythic Star Augur Atreus, uh, the typically the eighth boss in Nighthold. Um, so let's get down to it. Uh, so before you know, to start this fight is really primarily a single target fight. There are some adds, but typically, especially at this point in the expansion um, or in the tier, they will uh, go down relatively quickly. Um, turn the volume down a little bit. Um, you know, so really it's it's a single target fight, uh, so, you know, if you're comfortable with Serenity, especially if you have the Emperor's Capacitor, this is a very strong fight for it. Um, but on the flip side of that, of course, because it's primarily single target, um, it is uh, not Windwalker's strongest fight, uh, really, because it's mainly single target. Um, it is a little bit of a longer fight, so you can make use of a, a trinket like Convergence of Fates. Um, and the way that I did it was basically, normally I, I would... Um, pop both charges of Storm Earth and Fire at the beginning because they would kind of come back up uh, during each major phase. Um, this first phase lasts, uh, which we've already passed through it, but the first phase lasts from 100 to 90%. Typically there's not really anything going on. Um, Grand Conjunction is really all you have to worry about, um, which I will explain in a minute. Um, at 90% he transitions into the Frost phase. Um, as you can see the walls fall out. Um, this is Grand Conjunction. Grand Conjunction will put a marker um, over uh, players' heads. We used a certain um, weak aura in order to help us visualize it. Um, and then you have to match up with somebody who has the same uh, marker on top of your head. Uh, if you do not, if you hit somebody with a different marker, if you run into somebody with a different marker, or you don't do it in time, the boss will get a buff and it'll pretty much be a wipe 100% um, of the time. So really this frost phase is not very difficult. Um, you're just mostly trying to blow up the boss and um, you know get through this phase uh, what you while conserving your cooldowns um, the next phase the fell phase is really uh, gonna be the one of the well very important I, w I don't want to say the most important but very important so uh, it's something you want to be considerate of and you don't want to blow all of your cooldowns during this phase um, you know but you don't want to save them and potentially lose a cast um, in the end uh, windwalkers uh, it's a good, it's a strong fight for Diffuse Magic. There's a lot of magic fights, uh, a lot of magic damage in this fight. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities to use um, Touch of Karma as well, um, and Transcendence. So make sure that you're using Transcendence in this fight, especially uh, if you get the Icy Injection, uh, which I may get during this fight. I think I, I, I get it at least once every time. But um, when you get the Icy Injection, um, you want to get out to the edge typically and drop your thing. Uh, your little ice thing out there, and that's something that Transcendence can be very useful. You can Flying Serpent kick out to the end, and then Transcendence back as soon as it goes off. Um, the one thing to be aware of is that Icy Injection does do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, so you're going to want to uh, make sure that you pop a cooldown, either Diffuse Magic or Touch of Karma. Um, and the important thing about that is that Touch of Karma's range is just a little bit shorter than the distance from the edge to uh, Star Augur. So you're going to want to make sure you pop it before you run out. Um, there should be enough time uh, in order to get it um, and save the damage because it can kill you if you're not topped up. Uh, so at 60% uh, the boss phases into this fell phase and really the goal of this fell phase is to get through it as quickly as possible um, without uh, standing in the fire. Uh, here he casts something called fell nova. Again you can run away and then as you see use transcendence to get back. Um, it's another great mechanic for making use of touch of karma and diffuse magic. Uh, it's very important, um, you know, and Grand Conjunction, as you can see, continually gets casts throughout the fight, and that really is kind of the first main hurdle to learning this fight. Um, the boss, to my knowledge and to my experience, does not have a uh, dodge mechanic, you know, so um, you may notice that he's kind of spinning around quite a bit, um, but it's okay if you're in front of him. Um, as you can just see, I got what was called Fell Injection, and what that does is it puts a debuff on you. Here I got it again. Um, and then every couple seconds you drop a Fell Puddle that will deal damage to anyone um, around it. Ideally, you um, are going to want to um, drop it inside of one of these yellow circles that you can see with the balls dropping down because they um, will drop uh, the fire where you're, um, in that circle anyway, so it help, it's very helpful to... Uh, fill up that circle as much as you can um, so that when the ball drops it really doesn't add any extra fell uh, to the ground and your tank will be in charge of um, clearing out the fell uh, so that we have you have more room 
Um, now at 30%, he enters the uh, last phase, the void phase, or I, I think that's what it's called. And um, this is really just a burn phase uh, right off the bat. You need to watch out for uh, these world-devouring eyes uh, that just spawned, as you can see in the top left. Um, now it's in the top right. That's a giant eye, and it shoots this thing. So you're going to want to have somebody, if not you, paying attention to where it spawns, and you want to get out of the way. Um, it will kill you. Um, this is another phase where you can use a lot of Touch of Karma. Void Burst does damage. Um, when this uh, thing that should not be, or whatever it's called, spawns, you're going to want to blow it up as quickly as possible. That's really the priority. Um, and when he casts Witness the Void, like there, you want to face away. Um, Witness the Void does do progressively more damage uh, the more casts he gets off. Uh, so it's something that you're going to want to make sure you have um, Touch of Karma or Diffuse Magic up for, um, if you can, in order to help save your healers and help save your life. Um, you know, we popped Lust in order to blow up that first one. Um, and we happen to have the DPS, I believe, to uh, blow it up before we get the next one. Um, but so really, you know, uh, depending on your raids DPS, you may get another one that you need to uh, kill. Um, we happened to kill it right after he got nerfed a little bit, and uh, certain certain things got buffed. Um, we were like two percent from a kill the week before, and then um, I believe it was patch seven point two came out. You know, so everyone had the stronger uh, traits and stuff like that. So uh, we were able to get it killed relatively quickly after having practiced on it being much more difficult the week before and the week before that. Um, these voidlings, you know, if you really want to maximize and get some pad damage, uh, you can do that. They're not typically um, going to be an issue. You know, kind of passive cleave is going to blow them up, um, whatnot. So, you know, you can, you know, if you want to get a little bit of extra damage, you uh, you can do so that way. Um, but in general, you know, this fight really just takes practice. Um, you have to really practice it over and over again. There are a lot of mechanics that will kill you the first time you see it. It'll kill you the first dozen times you see it. Um, there really isn't a whole lot of things a Windwalker can do to maximize damage other than really padding on the Voidlings at the end. Uh, really this fight, Windwalker has a lot of tools to maximize survival um, through using Transcendence and porting out and stuff like that. So um, that's something to be aware of, you know, and something that's pretty important. So hopefully this this commentary has been helpful to you. Um, I'm trying to step my game up with this commentary. Uh, if you do like the content that I provide, then please support us on peakofserenity.com. You can do that through Patreon um, or PayPal. Check out peakofserenity.com uh, for more information about Windwalkers. You know, I try to keep the guides as up to date as possible as well as um, as detailed as possible. So um, if you need any additional help, check that out. And I do have uh, my kill videos as well as commentary videos um, for nearly all the bosses and, and working on finishing it up. So thank you very much uh, for listening, and I hope this was helpful.